We have learned the definition of coordinate vectors, so we know in principle how to deal with them. But how does this work in practice? Let us take a look at an explicit example to learn how to do the basic computations. We have a subspace W, the span of B1 and B2, basis for W, a set consisting of B1 and B2, where we have our B1 over here, 1 minus 1 to 1, B2 over here, 1 to 1, 1, and furthermore we have a factor small w and to capital W for 14 to 4. And the question is, uh, determine uh, the uh, coordinate factor W with respect to the basis B. So, how can we find this factor? Well, we know that this coordinate factor consists of two scalars, C1 and C2, because the basis B consists of two vectors. So I have two numbers here. I want to find the weight C1 and C2 such that W equals weight C1 times B1 plus C2 times B2. Or if you write down numbers, C1 times B1 plus C2 times B2 equals W. And of course you could just try some C1 and C2, but you recognize this with a factor equation. A factor equation is equivalent to a linear system, and we know how to solve a linear system. We use the augmented matrix and reduction. So there we go again. We form the augmented matrix, and we do some reduction. So add it once over here, subtract twice, subtract once, then we get a 0, 3, 18, it's a new second row, a 0, minus 1, minus 6, that's a new third row, and the fourth row vanishes entirely. And then we continue, let's clean up some mess, we divide by 3, and we do times minus 1, to clean up some mess over here, we get 1, 6 and 1, 6, you see, oh, this row reduction works really nice. We subtract once and once. And then we are in our reduced echelon form over here. And we can find the solution, read off the solution, C1 equals minus 2 and C2 equals 6. There we are. So we have our coordinate factor consisting of C1 and C2, minus 2 and 6. Check, of course minus 2 times b1 plus 6 times b2, minus 2 plus 6 equals 4, minus 2 times minus 1, 2 plus 12 equals 14, and minus 2 times 2 equals 4 plus 6 equals 2, minus 2 plus 6 equals 4. So, indeed, that's correct. So, you've done the row reduction, and you've found here your coordinate factor, you found one solution. Can it be that if you do computations that this system becomes inconsistent? Well, that would be kind of silly. If this system would become inconsistent over here, that means that W is not in the span of B1 and B2. That means that W would not be in uh, the capital W. So, but in, the, in the, those questions, usually it's given that the small W is in the capital W. So that means that if you find some inconsistency over here, you probably made some calculations error. You always have a solution. If you don't have a solution, that means that the small w is not in the subspace capital W. But in most questions that's the case, so probably then you made some mistake. Next question. We found one solution, but we did some row reduction over here. Maybe I could have gotten three variables and an infinite number of solutions. Could I? Well, a good question to discuss in the form of below. Would it be possible to get an infinite s number of solutions if you are looking for a coordinate factor? I'm happy to hear your opinion about that.